students in today's lecture we'll see another fitting of curve that is fitting of a second degree parabola that is y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so how to fit this second degree parabola we'll see in today's lecture consider the second degree parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so for this we'll give equation number one so for this also we have to prepare a normal equation the normal equation the normal equation to one so same procedure so we need to multiply summation symbol on both side of equation number one so it will become summation y is equal to a is a constant summation x square plus b is a constant summation of x plus c is a pure constant at that time we have to multiply n then c so here y is a dependent x as well as x square both are what here independent variable so first we'll multiply x on both side for this so summation x y is equal to a into if you multiply x here summation x cube it will be x square into x it will become x cube plus b into summation of x square plus here once you apply uh, x to this above equation so x will come that is variable will come so n you have to remove and you have to write uh, c into summation of x so this x we have multiplied for the above then we need to multiply x square also so means one more x we need to prepare here we have to multiply here so two times x we have to means first time we have to apply or else you have to apply x square to the above equation or only x to the next equation any one situation we need to follow either we need to multiply x square to the above equation so we'll get third equation or else only x to the previous equation so i will apply only x to the previous equation so x will become x square y so a into summation x cube will become x raised to 4 plus b into summation x cube plus c into summation of x square so this is a normal equation to the given parabola so i will repeat so this is a given second order parabola so for this we need to prepare a normal equation for the normal equation we need to first multiply summation on both the side so summation if you multiply so summation y plus a into summation x square plus b into summation x and this is purely constant so n will be multiply then we we have two variables in the right hand side first we need to multiply x to the first equation so x into y summation x into y plus if you multiply x to the above so x square will become x cube uh, x summation x will become summation x square plus uh, here it will become variable at that time c is a constant summation x then for this above equation only you need to multiply x square so x square into y it will become so if you multiply x square x square into x square x raised to 4 then this will become x cube and it will become summation c into summation of x square or else you need to multiply only x to the previous one will get the same so both the cases either you multiply uh, x square to the first equation or uh, x to the previous one any one but both will get the uh, uh, will be satisfied the third equation so see that so in this uh, second degree parabola so while preparing a normal equation first we have to work out for multiplication of summation then x then x square to the first equation then we'll get this equation number two and similarly 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 if the second degree parabola is if the second degree parabola of the form y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square this is also a second degree parabola form 
and the above one is also a same both will possible here either first one or second one both are second degree parabola so i will give equation number three for this so for this also we need to prepare a normal equation so the normal equation the normal equation the normal equation 2 3 so multiply summation on both side summation y is equal to a is a constant n into a plus b is a constant summation x c is a constant summation x square so here you multiply both the side x so first variable is x so x y is equal to a into summation x plus don't write n into a into summation x it is only once the variable comes here on multiplication n you have to remove then b into summation x square and c into summation of x cube and once again for the above first equation only you multiply x square on both sides so summation x square y is equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation okay so for this you need to multiply x so it will become x square x cube plus summation c into summation of x raised to 4 okay if you multiply x square here so it will become summation of x square a into summation of x square b as it is x square if you multiply x square into x will become x cube x square into x square will become x raised to 4 r you multiply just x to the uh, previous one so x y will become x square y summation x will become summation x square summation x square will become summation x cube summation x cube will become summation x raised to 4 so this is also a normal equation either they will ask in this form or in this form or just they will use the word second degree parabola so at that time you can use either equation number 1 or 3 for your calculation part so based on this we will see uh, how to solve the examples uh, for the fitting of a second degree parabola and uh, you can see that so what is the best fit for this given curve by the method of least square cells so here you can uh, uh, observe that we have two uh, cases either uh, it is in the form of y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c form or y is equal to a plus bx plus cx form so for this we need to uh, be careful so if they have asked in the question so we need to work out according to that if they have not asked uh, just the, if they use the word as a second degree parabola at that time you are free to use either equation number one or three for the problem purpose